Pints in the pouring rain and dinner in the drizzle are off the menu. Today's the day we went back inside. How good did that taste? It tasted pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Sharing that drink with a friend, or you can even give them a hug. What feels better, eating and drinking inside or a hug? Uh, eating and drinking inside. <laughs> For five long months, this hotel in Cornwall hasn't made a penny. Now, there isn't a room free until September. How does it feel to see this place looking oh, full? I can't tell you, it is um, quite something to be open again. Will's family has owned this hotel for nearly 60 years, but the last year has been like no other. It's been the most difficult time that the business has ever had, and it's been through recessions, but this has been by far and away the biggest challenge. Having now reopened the doors, the one thing no one wants yeah. is to shut them again. Having been through the last 15 months, we're very wary about you know, what may come. Uh, we're hoping for the best, of course, but I think equally you know, the, the vaccine rollout in the UK has given us a level of confidence. A level of confidence, but there is a shadow hanging over the great unlocking. The government has warned, treat this next step with, quote, a heavy dose of caution because the new COVID variant first identified in India is on the march. This isn't just about Bolton and Blackburn. There are now 86 local authorities where there are five or more confirmed cases. The next biggest case of concern is Bedford, where we are surging, testing. And I would urge everybody in Bedford to exercise caution. Caution some scientific advisers think the government has discarded when it's known this variant is more transmissible, but not known how effective the vaccine is against that transmission. And those are factors that will affect the next stage of unlocking the economy, when social distancing is ditched and many businesses can start making money again. You don't make money on the first, like, um, ten tables. It's the last two tables where you actually your profit comes from. It's not. So to take out three tables, they're probably the, the profit margin where, where you're actually making the money. Not just here in Cornwall, but lockdown rules eased in England, Wales and most of Scotland today. Northern Ireland will review lockdown rules on the 20th of May. At 9am this morning, though, there was a desperation for a little entertainment. How's the past couple of months been? Has it been a bit boring? <laughs> don't, look been... don't look at her. You can say yes. You've been, been a bit more. Yeah. 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 yeah and now been. do you get to do fun stuff? Yeah. yeah. Entertainment needed by the customers, their cash helpful to the owners. The last year has been very tough financially. I mean, we've made a loss of around 10 million quid. That's a lot of money. Concern then of more potential losses from a new COVID variant? You know what? No. I. I'm not concerned in the sense that I can do nothing about it. Therefore, the only thing I'm going to be concerned about is how good can we make this as an experience, how safe can we make our colleagues, and how hopeful can we make our future. It was hoped the next stage of unlocking might happen on June 21st. That horizon now looks a little less clear. But that's the future, and many are just happy to enjoy the few extra freedoms they have in the present.